inspired by both the art of Jean Michel Basquiat and the instances of police brutality that dominated headlines in America, Yassine Bey, aka Most Deaf, in 2015 rapped over a futuristic free jazz groove that's so inventive, strange, and beautiful. It could only have come from Basquiat himself. Bay touches on everything from cotton to freedom on Basquiat Ghostwriter. If you've seen any of Basquiat's work, then you know that his words and paintings are organized confusion, which describes the song's free jazz meshed with rock and roll backdrop. Despite the unusual production on Basquiat's Ghostwriter, the MC formerly known as Most Deaf comes correct with his deadly and intellectual flow. This movie on 48th and 8th, this theater. And then when I got there, I put my $10 in the window. The lady disappeared from it and came back, gave back my $10 and said, No music, man, this is serious. This is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at your life. So I, I was like denied entrance to a movie theater, and you know. Why? Why? Which is, they said it was my appearance, you know, that I looked like a bum, you know. But it never happened to me before. I just sort of like. Don't go to that movie theater. So this, this is what I'm, why I'm here now, right? This is my appeal to boycott the Hollywood Twin Cinema, which is, they show good movies, but after that, you know? Everyone wants someone to prohibit something, you know? It's always, there's always like a restaurant they serve the coffee wrong or something, or someone couldn't use the men's room and stuff. Oh, this, this is a sleazy movie theater. Well, this, but I mean, if we boycotted everything everyone wanted to boycott, you couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't go on the buses, you couldn't take a taxi. Well, you couldn't, you couldn't take a taxi fucking... because... How many times? Underground I mean, or go to a restaurant for Christ's sake. What? Glenn, this is what you know, this is what happens in New York. It's just widespread Whichever. now. Hello? Hello? Chris. What? Let me ask you something, on, uh, This is really something this week. Uh, how did you finally get, how did you get a, a buckwheat to appear this week? I thought he was dead. Wasn't he? Hello? <laughs> Hello? 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 What? No, yes. it really is something, though. Wait, are you going to get off top for next week with Spanky, too, or what? Yeah, yeah, huh? we're making a comeback. Hey, brother, hey, bro, let me ask you something. Didn't you snatch my chain last week on the subway? Huh? Basquiat's every work was dedicated to bringing society's problems to light. While very vocal about these issues personally, his work focused more on letting it speak for itself, calling on society to reflect on these paintings and their meanings, and by extension to reflect on themselves. His work centering around police brutality are some of the best examples. After several injustices in the 80s, his pieces pointed out the hypocrisy of the silence of black policemen and the, the defamation of the nation through allowing these actions. But ultimately, he painted for himself a personal expression of the world around him. Most Def himself, through the song, Basquiat's Ghostwriter, channeled his own frustration and expresses what Basquiat would have possibly felt today, and even leaving a message of no rap circuses, a country called Earth, free to land, love and respect to Basquiat's family and Mr. W.F. Flame. Let us be reminded of Sandra Bland, Ferguson, Baltimore, and all the injustices of the world, as well as the beauty. Respect to the family of Sean Price in Brooklyn, from which I and Jean Michelle are from. Eternal love to my city. God bless the soul and keep in living. Even when we die, we won't stay dead. Most Def has always been a controversial performer and artist, not one to shy away from using his creative platform to shine a light on social injustice. Many may have forgotten about his enduring political activism, which helped spark the Black Lives Matter movement that set ablaze by the unjust killings of Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Michael Brown, and others. The history of slavery, segregation, and institutional racism goes to show that all are not equal before the law. And the need for the Black Lives Matter movement is a stark reminder that this remains true. Often the only way to unravel unjust laws is to challenge them. Protests, music, and artist activism like Bays are important ways of giving voice to the Black Lives Matter movement and keeping up the momentum of confronting systemic 
and justice.